So I'm going to show you how to make and store your own fans so that when you are able to reopen, you have a lot to ready and also that you have kept practicing during shutdown. Let's go! Before you start, make sure wear a mask and then wash your hands and then pull out new clean lashes. So to start with, use the tips of your tweezers to grab three or four lashes. We recommend using only this number if you are a beginner or more if you are more experienced. So Grace here has got about six lashes in her fan. She's used the spring technique onto the little sticky pad and then the tips of her tweezers to splay out the lashes to make an even fan. She's then picking up the fan gently so that it does not separate and then dipping it into the adhesive using a very, very tiny amount. And then she's wiping the adhesive onto the side of the adhesive cup to make a very fine point. Now then she's delaying by just a few seconds so the glue has enough time to cure and then she's placing her fan into her lash container and the sticky back of that will stop them from moving around too much. So let's see it again. So she's taking just a few lashes then springing them out on the little sticky pad, which is one of the techniques she shows you in her volume training, Spray, splaying them out so that the lashes are evenly spaced. Then she's picking them up. It's kind of a little bit of a hit and miss with the right part of the tweezer to use, but once you find it, that is your sweet spot. Dipping into the adhesive a very, very small amount, wiping it to a very, very fine point. Then she just delays for a few seconds just to allow for enough time for the adhesive to cure and then placing it into the tray for use. Make sure that you label your trays and you can make trays for every single size of lashes that you use. I hope you found this video useful and if you'd like more information about training and techniques, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.